Welcome to the orientation videos that are associated with Unit 4 from Working with Health IT Systems. What I would like to show you at this point, then, is that graphing function. So let's click on graphing. And this is a very interesting way to display data for a particular user. We know that people have different mental models, different ways of cognitive processing. You know, right brain or left brain, or all that sort of literature. Some people do better with pictures. Some people do better with a spreadsheet. Well, this is a graphical function that combines the two, and it can actually be very, very helpful, particularly for trending. It's not appropriate for all data, but if someone wants to look at the relationship between maybe a medication and a physiologic response, like maybe they give a blood pressure lowering medication, and they would like to plot that against the actual blood pressure measurements, this is a really effective way to do that. So let me just give you a quick demonstration of when we choose the graphing function for Mr. 1. I have it going to all results, and you can see that these are all the results that this particular patient has. So let's say I would like to, or I've had a user that has just said that I would really like to take a look at the relationship between his weight and his cholesterol levels. So let's choose weight and see what happens. And as you can see to the right here, this is plotting on a graph all of this patient's weight because I chose all results, weight. And you can see here, these are the dates and these are the values. So about January 97, he weighed about 200 pounds. He has definitely been on a yo-yo diet. We can also, if you hover over a spot, you can actually see the weight number when it was taken and that sort of data. Let me drag this over to see what this is. Okay. Let's just say I want to take his hemoglobin A1C from blood. And there are his hemoglobin values. Okay, what is your user going to do? Toggle back and forth between weight and hemoglobin. They want to see the relationship between the two. There are several different ways you can do that. First, you can uncheck the individual graphs at the top here. And then what you would do, you would click the value that you want. So I've clicked I've highlighted hemoglobin A1C, and I can go down to weight, and similar to most Microsoft functions, if you hold down the control button and choose weight, it will allow you to pick two different items. So now I've highlighted weight, and I've also highlighted hemoglobin A1C. You just need to get in here to explore. Like, if you click and drag over a particular cluster of elements, it will stretch out. So, again, to switch this back to individual graphs, which I believe is what you need to do for your assignment, you could just click individual graphs, and then you would do a print screen to get a copy of this screen if required for your assignment, and hand it in. So, print screen on your keyboard, upper right hand side, and then you can open up a Word document, or whatever, and do a paste, and then you will have that particular piece of your homework done. I really encourage you to get in here to explore with this. We will be doing more graphing later in the term, but it's actually a pretty interesting function, and I encourage you to have a look.